I bet you guys know what we have coming up next. We're gonna open some blind bags. Stay tuned and see what I got. All right, so first the particulars. Uh, first off, I buy these off of eBay. I have a blog post that details complete with screenshots of what I, how I search for the blind bags on eBay. I will try to remember to link that in the description box so you guys can see it if you want to find your own. Now, details on this package. <clears throat> Excuse me. I ordered it November 1st. It was due to arrive anywhere between December 1st and January 26th. It actually arrived November 25th, so it came in ahead of schedule. This one was labeled online as cup models. We've had this color bags before, and we've always had good luck with these. And there are 10 of them. So I'm going to get these open, and then we can, or get this package open, get them out of here, and then we can start opening them one by one on camera. All right, let's push all 10 of those off to the side, bring in the first one. So cup models. Oh, and these were, eBay always lists the price in Canadian funds on these, I don't know why, but $2.71 Canadian, which means it was less US. So you can do the math. Okay, and we've done the cup molds several times. These are my favorite. I'm gonna bring you guys down just a little bit and I'll do my best to stay under camera. These are some of my favorites. I love these little, little glasses with a little shape at the bottom. They look so realistic. A little large, but they're still, they're really cute. So that's number one. All right, number two. Feels like a stemware. Feels like a glass with a stem. Yep, it's like a little wine glass. Is it gonna sit straight? And it sits straight. Oh, this one has a square bottom. I don't, I'll have to look through the ones I've gotten in past uh, blind bag packages. I don't think I've had one with a square bottom before. That will get a lot of use. Even if you just sit these glasses in the kitchen cabinets of the dollhouse, they are going to add to your reality of your dollhouse. Let's see what's next. All right, number three, it is another stemware. And these are, this particular set of blind bags, I love getting duplicates because I love having sets of them. All right, this is more of a champagne type glass. Does it sit straight or a wine glass? It could be either, and it sits straight. One of the first sets of these I got, one of the wine glasses sat at a very definite angle. So very nice. These will be so cool in the, both on the, on the dining table and or in the cabinet. So let's see what the next one is. All right, number four. what we got. It's too, oh, it's a broken one. It was a really neat stemmed glass. Oh, you know, that actually could go in a scene. That would have been so cool because it's got some shape to the stemware. Oh, sad, sad noise. Oh, well, can't win them all. There you go. I guess that was off camera. There you go. But it's broken. We'll see what the next one is. All right, number five. Okay, and over, probably a little oversized. I don't see Mrs. Doll here. I'll have to check the size on this. This looks awfully large, but it's a mug. Whoops, it's a mug. I need to stay under camera. I don't have my tape on my tray today, so I'm struggling with that. Let's see what's next. All right, number six. Okay, we've had these beer steins before. They're a little large, but a beer stein can be pretty big. So that's fine. I'm fine with that. And it could also stand in as a, um, like a pitcher to pour like things out of. One of these days, I'm gonna see if I can make a lip. And now I think I've got one just like this already. So maybe I can experiment with that and we can see if we can turn one of these into something that looks like you can pour from it. Let's see what's next. All right, number seven. All 
card have we got? Another. It's different. This is the one that's got the ridges going up and down on it. So I know, I'm pretty sure I've had the, both of these steins we've had before, but those look pretty cool. Let's see what's next. All right, I believe this is number eight. What do we have? Another, okay, this is exactly like this one that we had for number six. So six and eight are exactly the same. That's okay. They can go on a bar. They can go in the cabinet. We will just have to see where we can put them. All right, number nine. What have we got? And this is just like the first one. So we've got a pair of these glasses now, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we had some of these before also. So we are going to have a nice collection of glassware for the cat kitchen cabinets in the dollhouse. Let's see what the last one has. All right, number 10. Let's see what we've got. Oops. This is that huge glass. I think I came up with some ideas for this one on the last one, and I don't remember what they were. This almost could be too big for a milkshake. I need to measure this and see in scale how big it would be, but it's pretty big. It's more a Barbie size for a glass, but I'm sure we'll figure out something to do with it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I can't really show them to you on camera altogether because they're all clear and they're going to be really hard to see. Um, check the blog post for photos. I will have photos of each one so that you can see what we got and a photo of all of them together. Uh, the link for the blog post is always in the description box below the video. Thank you very much for watching today. If you liked the video, hit the like button, leave me a comment. What kinds of things would you like to see? And do you have any ideas for what to turn some of these into? If you enjoy my videos and haven't subscribed, I encourage you to hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye!